Hello and welcome back to The Sims. Now in the last episode we got married, so we're now officially husband and wife. I still haven't changed her name to Bella Worcester, but I will do at some point when I remember. Now, in the last episode, at the very end, I made them try for a baby. And I thought that I'd have to wait until the morning until they were sick or something, but someone in the comments told me that they've changed it a little bit. Now Purple Dragon said that they've changed the try for a baby system a little bit different, so now I have to take a pregnancy test, which I did not know, so thank you for letting me know. But the question is, how do I take a pregnancy test? I'm guessing it's on the sink? No, on the toilet? Well, you do have to, yeah, pee on a pregnancy thing. So yes, there you go. Take pregnancy test. You do that, it cost me $15. I don't know if we'll know immediately. I guess we're about to find out. Don't go to sleep. No, 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 you have more important right. things to do. As for me, I'm going to hog a toilet. Uh, no, you go downstairs. There's a reason why I put two toilets in this house, you know. And you can also clean up all these puddles. Why are you all so lazy? This is ridiculous. Oh, dear, oh, dear me. And the Hypnotoad. Hello, Mr. Hypnotoad. Or Hypnofrog. I do apologize. I take to infringe copyright. Oh, that's a dangerous thing to do on YouTube. <gasps> Whoa, hold the phone. Oh, the phone. Congratulations, Bella is expecting. There's going to be a new addition to the household. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, I mean, is this... Because somebody also said, uh, and I unfortunately don't have the comments up with me at the moment. I, I'm going all off by memory. But someone by the name of Darcine, I think. If I said it wrong, I do apologise. But they said that the reason my sims could be getting fat is because I feed them only cake, which is very true, and I didn't think about that, so thank you for letting me know. But yes, I will try and get them on the treadmill at some point in the future. But yes, we, we're finally going to have a family. This is so incredible. I spent so long getting to this point, and now I'm here, I don't quite know what to do from this point. Uh, everything's about to get crazy, and... Oh, okay. So yes, so she's now possibly a bit rounded at the front because she's pregnant. Who knows? This, this is good. This is fantastic news. I personally am hoping for a boy first, because, you know, I was a boy once, so I know how things go, and I personally think that I would have been easier to raise than a girl, maybe? I don't know. It's one of those weird things. Also, again, if I sound different, that is because I am again hungover, and just a PSA, I'm not an alcoholic. It's just that I went to a stag party, and it was fantastic, and then I was hungover, and then... That night I came back, I forgot I was going to a friend's birthday party. And they gave me lots more alcohol. And I couldn't say no, I was uh, considered rude. So I got drunk again. And now I'm feeling just especially ill. <laughs> oh, so if, if there's any of the younger audience out there, do not ever get drunk. It's a terrible thing to do, don't do it. Oh dear. Okay, and somebody keeps turning around my thing. What is wrong with you people? Turn that around, there you go. Right, I don't know if you should be playing games like that. Now you're pregnant. Oh, I don't know. Oh, and is she going to get maternity leave and all sorts of things are going to happen? I don't know. Okay, I'll try not to panic. That's fine. Oh, and before I forget, there's another comment in my mind that I've just remembered by, I believe it was Vancy? I'm pretty sure it was Vancy. Now, they said, and something I completely forgot about, is that I should start buying stuff through my reward store from my life points. Because they said there was a potion that when I sold things, I'd earn more money. Now that's fantastic, and I would love that. And also, and also, there's one that would allow me to get promotions easier. Now, that would be fantastic. I think, is this the one? There you go. Entrepreneurial sims are more likely to get promoted in their career. Now, unfortunately, I am 30 off, and that would go easy because I hate. Making five friends just pisses me off. So, we might do that. And where's the other one? Just for future. I'm guessing this is it. Marketable. Uh, marketable sims sell what they've crafted for more simoleons. Okay, so that's 1,500. Now, do these count for both of us? I don't imagine they do, do they? No, she's only got 700. So, she's going to have to do quite a lot of work on her ambitions before she can do anything. But I will get definitely get the promotion one first, because that will be helpful. Right. So we'll do that whilst he warms up in the fire in his swanky-ass dressing gown, which is just amazing. And I'm pretty sure I saw a plate up here. Not quite sure what it's doing up here, but it needs to go downstairs and into the sink. If I can just find the button. There we go. And in you go. Fantastic. Alrighty then. Now for today's episode, I had... Well, again, to be truthful, I was getting to this point 
took me so long, and I was so focused on getting married and trying for a baby. Now I'm here. I'm I'm a bit lost. So any ideas, please let me know. But I had some ideas for today. Uh, I could either a build a third floor, or because essentially now I have forty grand, I have a feeling once the baby's born, all my money's going to go thrown out the window. So if I buy the stuff now, I could. So I can buy a, do a third floor, or we could buy the rocket ship and go to space. Now that, to me, sounds like a more fun option. So we're going to do that. Before the baby arrives, we're going to move this, put it in our inventory, and we are going... Ah, oh, he's a kitchen appliances we got for getting married. <gasps> Don't forget the cow plant. Go back in your position. Hello, buddy. Yeah, that's better. Okay. I swear to God, if the cow plant eats the child, I will rip someone's dick off. Ah, oh, that would piss me off so much. What, what, what did we get? In the full bloom centerpiece. I don't know, oh, it's a little thing. I mean, it looks kind of nice. We'll stick you in the middle. That's one of our wedding gifts. We also received a wedding pillar with floral basket. It looks okay. We can kind of stick you there. It looks kind of nice. A tea magic personal brewer. Uh, so we can now make tea as well as coffee. That's good. We'll stick you over. Oh, apparently, we won't stick you over there. Can we move this weird. No, don't move the chair. Move the. Diamondy thing. There we go. Move you over there. This is kind of my miscellaneous crap section. I've got mini cube and antique stuff. I just stick it there because I can. And we'll stick you here. I'm assuming they can get to it if they're clever and can go on diagonals. <gasps> Ooh, a royal crab tree tea set. This looks fantastic. It's only ornamental, but it still looks pretty damn cool. So we'll stick you there. Beautiful. And the Food Annihilator. It is literally just a microwave. Of which I don't have one? I thought I had a microwave. Alright, well, fair enough, thank you. This should make my life a little bit easier, sticking on an angle. Good, there you go. Well, the wedding turned out to be very profitable indeed, even though it cost me $1,000, but it's fine. Anyway, space rocket. Here we go. Now, unfortunately, I can't have the Apollo rocket ship because... I'm not an astronaut, although our sun could be in the future, so that's the thing we can do. But this is five grand. It's pretty enormous. But I'm expecting great things from this. So, I don't know how long it takes to do either, so do I have to build it? Build for 1,000 bucks. Stop viewing the hypno frog. Although, yes, incredibly hypnotizing and amazing. It is not going to be very eventful for this episode now, is it? So, you go over here. Holy shit, that was quick. I've acquired the rocket science skill. <gasps> I can now build rockets, upgrade landing stabilizers, and do something else. It didn't let me read it in time. But this is amazing. Look at this. I'm building a rocket into space. Oh, the neighbors will definitely be jealous. Look at your shitty jungle, Jim, and your plain ass garden. I have rocket ships. Fear me. I am a genius scientist. I, I might as well be a time lord at this point, because I'm an ageless man who will never get old. <laughs> I could build ships out of nothing but boxes. This is phenomenal. Thank you. Okay, so you hammer away at doing that. Bella is now pregnant, so I have to take doubly good care of her, even though she's chucking herself around in a video gaming arena. So what do you need? You don't... You're quite good on most things, really. Uh, your work is probably going to take a dive, because, again, maternity leave. So that's going to happen. Also... I've been holding on to a certain comment for a very long time now, although he just hasn't turned up. So, someone I believe by the name of Thor Larson? Again, remembering this, because my iPhone is updating itself. I mean, it has. I, I, I keep it all on there, and it's taking forever to fucking update. And so I'm doing this all by memory. But, Thor Larson said that if Dominic comes around again, because he was my crazy stalker at some point, and it was all pretty, pretty weird, but if he comes around again, then I should use my tranquilizing handshake to essentially make sure he never comes around again, which is a fantastic idea, and something I will definitely do. But seeing as I haven't seen him, I might have to invite him around myself and just do it anyway, just as a bit of personal revenge for pissing me off so much. Okay, so are you nearly done? He's not even close to being done. Okay, are you welding stuff? <gasps> oh shit, don't do that! There's fuel and stuff in here. You dangerous man. Blow torch and everything. This is incredible. Okay. 
Well, I think personally we should stop building the rocket right now. You go and have a shower and then go to sleep. Take a thoughtful shower and then go to bed. Don't go. No, no, no. I, I think Woohoo might be off the cards until the baby plops up. We'll see. You never know. You are allowed to have sex whilst pregnant, but everybody's a bit iffy with it and it's, it's fairly understandable. Now, I could eat white cake or I could try and find something healthier to eat because my sims are definitely getting fat. Although they've, like, my sim in particular still managed to say muscly, they've just got wider for some reason. It's like they're weirdly just turning out of proportion yet staying muscly. I mean, it's pretty weird. Spaghetti? I mean, it's not quite healthy, but it'll do. Pancakes? Definitely not healthy. Chocolate chip cookies! Oh, this game just... Oh, it's so much fantastic choices. And being hungover, these are all sounding incredibly delicious. But we need something healthy. Garden salad! That's healthy. There you go. And it's only nine bucks. Fantastic. So you make me that. And, I mean, you are pregnant, so... I mean, if you so much... If you crave some cake so much, you may have the last piece of cake. But... I have a chest as well. Time capsule. Open the time capsule. Thank you. And then you may use the shower of awesomeness, which I believe is facing the wrong way. Let me just quickly rectify this. It, I, I think, it look, yeah, it looks better. Having that up against the wall, that's fantastic. Okay. Perfect. Right, yeah, so you go do that, have a shower and do all the good stuff. And then you may go to bed. Go to sleep. And then in the morning, we'll, we will commence building the rocket, and I believe she goes to work, although, again, I don't think she should. I don't know how long it takes. I'm imagining it doesn't take long for a baby to plop out in The Sims. So, oh, oh that was a risky maneuver, wasn't it? And it didn't pay off, I'm afraid. And does my cow... It does still need milking. Okay, so we're going to... When we wake up, we are going to milk the cow. Hmm milk the cow. I'm not going to feed it because I want its tongue to stick out and I want to be eaten by a cowfish. Cowfish? Cow plant. No. The fishes, which should be there. There they go. Which for some reason bug out every time. I don't know. Don't view the fish. Hold on. Because if I do that and then they become visible all the time. There we go. That's more like it. My lovely collection of magical fish. There's a wooden fish and a bat fish, and it's all crazy, and one of them's a noble esquire becoming a, a noble bat knight. It's it's incredible. But anyway, and the other one is a humble wizard made of wood. How are you doing? Ah, you're finally eating your cake. Enjoy it, because there won't be that much of it. And you've found another one of those weird clamp things. No idea what they do, but hey-ho. Oh, wow, and when making that salad, did you by chance piss on the counter? Because that is disgusting. So, if somebody wouldn't mind cleaning this up when you're done... I, I'm imagining it'll have to be you. Ew. I mean, that's pretty disgusting. And, again, put away this thing, because otherwise, it'll be ruined forever. Okay, he's finally awake, and he's finally learned how to get dressed, and the cow plant needs milking. Oh, this is very risky. I mean, the cow plant itself isn't happy. I've got Essence of Stress. <gasps> the cake has appeared! Oh, this is it! This is the moment of truth! Okay. Okay. So. It is time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to eat the cake. Now, this will kill me, no doubtably. No, 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 no. Cancel all other things as secondary. Eating the cake is incredibly dangerous and incredibly stupid and it will probably kill me, hence why I'm now going to save. Save faster, you bastard. There we go. Okay. It is now time, ladies and gentlemen, to witness the possible first death of one of my sims. And quite why I'm using me, I don't know. I can't use Bella now. She's pregnant. Mm, delicious. Just a... Oh, he's, oh, he's choking. Oh, I'm not dead. I don't think I'm dead. Hey! I didn't die. But now you feel gross. I, I can imagine. Ew! Ew, incredibly grungy and filthy! And just, you drained! Feeling like an emotionless shell because the cow sucked out my abilities. And you need to milk again! I'd rather not milk you because then you'd try and kill me. Let's feed him first. Oh, and it's immediately okay. you just annihilated my hygiene! I mean, that's fair enough, I guess. There you go. Feed the plant. Even though it's a cow, I, I believe it's eating meat. 
So it's, it's a cannibal cow. No? Why are you unhappy then? Hold on. But if I highlight over you, you're unhappy, aren't you? Well, we'll milk him again. And then you can very quickly go off and have a shower. That, I mean, please don't try and kill me. That would be very awkward. And then you may eat some garden salad and then throw that away. I've got essence of happiness, so he's happy now. That's good, because I've got essence of stress, and I can imagine. I kind of put him in my inventory and took him to a wedding, but I didn't get him out, so... That is unfortunate. Right, you go get clean. Very, very well needed clean. And as for the cow, because I can highlight over these. See, these are sad, because they're going to die horribly. But this, I can't highlight over you. I imagine you're okay. So... We're going to call you okay for now, and hopefully you won't die. Also, I am going to miss work again today and probably get fired, but we need to finish this rocket. This is this is going to be the focus for this episode. Ex next episode, I'll build a third floor and do some crazy stuff and buy a telescope and stick it on the top. That is my plan. But, for right now, I want to go into space, visit a mysterious world, and do all sorts of fantastic stuff. As for Bella, she is fast asleep. She is about to piss herself. So you all go downstairs and use the bath uh, bath bathtub. No, don't pee in the bathtub. That is disgusting. Use the toilet. Good o. Okay. And I am flirty for almost well. So being nearly killed by a plant makes you flirty. I mean, I uh, that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Worker wives arrived in one hour, but I'm not going to go. Oh, she's being sick. Oh, I missed that, but she was definitely throwing up then. Are you okay? Are you? I mean, she's okay. It's, it's all par for the course. Now, I, I kind of would love you to clean that for me and then to clean up those. Even though you're pregnant, I know. I shouldn't make you doing this. But it's only, it's early days of pregnancy, so it should be okay. And you need to pee so you go upstairs. Because, again, he's not going to work, so that's not going to happen. I had to use that. You want to flush it first for no reason, even though you should flush it last, because this is the hygienic thing to do, but whatever. Let him do his thing. There you go. Don't be uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Oh, he's still drained from <laughs> being nearly killed by a cow. There you go. Okay, so now he's done that. You, sir, are going to resume the rocket ship of amazingness. But do not go to work. No, 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 no. We are missing work today. I know we need to be at work, and she's probably going to go to work. We, she, yeah, let her go to work, and then she can go. I'm pregnant. I shouldn't need to go to work, and they'll go. Fair enough. Have some maternity leave. That should be good. Assuming that is a thing. I hope that's a thing. All right. As for me, I mean, look. If we get fired, we can just either a do the job again when I'm not recording, or b just become like a master artist or something fantastic. Down it, down it. There's a little there. Those are my two ideas, anyway. Well, I'm level two on rocket building, so that's doing well for me. And the boss is calling, saying, why the hell aren't I at work? You've missed so many days of work. I mean, yes, one of them you're getting married, and yes, one of them you're fishing. But, I mean, oh, it's not going to go well for me, is it? I mean, if anything, it'll only slip into the light green. Oh, we've got another floor. Oh, this is good. This is going to be big. I didn't realize it would be so big. Oh dear, this is going to take me a long time, isn't it? And I'm getting another phone call. Oh, I had another phone call, but it's gone now. Yes, I'm late for work, I know. Incredibly pissed off. I don't really care, though. So, come on. Keep building a rocket for me. Oh, oh, the, oh it's nearly done. Nearly all complete. There's a hell of a lot of thrusters on this thing. Which, to be fair, I mean, the, the fact that he's even building this in the first place is a miracle. Because, I mean... I'm pretty sure there was a movie. Oh, he's sticking out his cake again. No, 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 no. No, feed him. Do not. No. Okay, we're going to stop building this because cow plants can lure over people. There you go. See, now longer he doesn't want to try and eat people anymore. He's almost done anyway, and he's almost about to die. <laughs> oh, he is so cripplingly hungry and tired and not having any fun, and he's about to piss his pants. Oh, and he's about to smell as well. The only thing he has is social. Oh dear. Oh dear. Everything's going red. Oh god. Okay, so we can no longer do that whilst he's very uncomfortable. That is more than fair. Okay, so the, most, the best thing to do at the moment is that. And then, I guess, go get some food. She's very flirty. Oh, and I'm not having much fun. I mean, I could kill two birds with one stone here. So if you go here, and if you wake up, 
Yes, you'll wake up tense, but I'm about to make um, but I'm about to make you a hell of a lot more relieved. So, where the hell? There's the button. There we go. Okay, Bella, oh Bella, let us have more woohoo. I said, oh, I'm gonna do sweet talks and all sorts. That's cool. Anyway, we'll do that. And how's our relationship doing? Still pretty good. Okay. So you come upstairs with your salad. We may eat and do it at the same time. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. You waddle over here. Good. Hello. Now you may have to be a little more cautious than last time, but you should still be able to get the job done. There you go. So having loads of fun, and then he may stay in bed until he's awake, and then he may conclude building the rocket, which is massive and just incredible. Also, I believe I should go to work today because I, my thing is taking a dive. So I'll let him do that, and when we come back, we will conclude building the rocket and go into space and be a badass. With any luck. I don't actually know if you can go into space. This could all be a giant waste of time, of which I hope it is not. But anyway, you, you're going to make me some more stuff, apparently. What are you going to make? That is the main thing. Where the hell have you gone? Oh, she's outside. Oh, she was making me... Oh, you're making unhealthy food. Oh, what have you made? No, 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 no. You don't eat hamburgers when I'm trying to make you be healthy. Oh, dear. Oh, well. If I... Look, can I... Let me just let, drag them into the thing. There we go. That way they won't spoil. Fantastic. Right, you both got to work. Make me loads of money. Come on, you are so close now. Come on. Just a little bit more. Just spam the fast forward button. Come on. You're cripplingly tired, but come on. You can do it this time round. Third time's a charm. Oh, so close, so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you bastards. Yeah, oh, it's a level up. No, it's not done yet. <gasps> it's done. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the rocket ship of awesomeness. We are so going to space. Oh, this is going to be phenomenal. Okay. He quickly should go and go. And She had a phone call for like again a second. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, but yes. He's going to go up and get some sleep. And then when he wakes up, we're going into space. Okay. I call that awake enough. And he's happy. So without further ado, let us explore space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Simoleon. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds and new civilizations to boldly go where no man has done before. Holy shit, it's gone. That was surprisingly, do I get to see where he's gone? Or is he just off exploring space? I don't get to see it. You dicked me. Oh no, hang on, wait. An escape pod adrift. While cruising comfortably somewhere in the vicinity of the Vega Strat Statron Startron, Martin sees a banged up escape pod drifting out of orbit. Lights are flickering. Maybe someone's inside. If he brings it on board his ship, he can see what it is. Or he could just use it for space parts. I mean, if someone is living in there, we'll kill them. What do I do? Okay, so I think we should bring it on board because there could be a life in one here. And this could be the start of the Federation. This could be something serious. So bring it on board. And... Is there an alien? Has it just killed me? Is this a thing? Is this the end of the Worcester household? Could this be the end? Is this... No? Hello? Anybody? I... Oh! Alien on board! Oh shit! Martin uses his ship's robotronic arms to drag the escape on board through the airlock. After a few minutes of banging on the hatch, it pops open! And an alien creature pops out. Martin's not sure whether he should try to catch it or subdue it. Or just shove it into space. That's cat. <gasps> the first person in the universe to capture an alien for scientific experiment. Even though that's kind of evil, I could become rich from this. Catch the alien. For the love of God. Specimen for science! After wrestling with the strange and slippery creature, Martin manages to wrangle it into a big specimen jar, or to some form of giant bin bag esque thing, where we can hit it. So until it stops moving, I don't know. It's pretty gruesome, but screw it. He'll take it back to Earth for his scientist to uh, dissect. I mean, study. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. I I've got a preserved alien. Fantastic. And I am, however, noticing that he does need to pee. With any luck, his spacesuit, like all other modern spacesuits, 
should have an uh, ability to pee whilst in the suit. If not, you are in trouble. Oh, there he's coming home. Oh, there it is. Perfect landing, straight down. Technically not possible, but okay, good man. <laughs> he has safely returned from exploring space. And he is now going to pee like a champion, of which he deserves immensely. So that's it. Back in his normal clothes like nothing ever happened. That was fantastic. That Yeah, okay, that was just amazing. And the cow is trying to kill me again. Screw you, cow. Feed. 